Kevin in North Shore. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Nick. How are you? Well, I'm well lit up tonight. Beautiful. I'll be quick then. I want to talk to you about Earth Hour and that I feel it is nothing more than a pathetic feel-good measure. Little do people who participate in this antiquated ritual realize that they are actually causing more serious problems for the electrical grid than when they turn it back on, especially in Ontario. As you indicated earlier, you know, it, it, it costs us millions when we pay other jurisdictions to take our excess power. It, it causes spikes in the grid. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but Earth Hour is the dumbest idea I have ever heard of. Oh, it doesn't and, even help the planet, you know? Well, you know, you know what people do when you turn off the lights? They light candles. Well, and that's all fine and dandy. No, and but wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if you're trying to protect the environment, candles are based on oil, right? Paraffin? That's a good point. So you're you're giving up something that come, may probably the most of it comes either from nuclear or or, or uh, waterfall or water, right? Hydroelectricity uh, that's supposed to be green, and you're trading it for something that comes out of the ground as crude oil. How does that's that make a, sense? Yeah, that, that's a really good point. I'm glad you brought that up. You know, but um, yeah, you know, there's, there's, every year that the People celebrate this this Earth Hour. You know, I, I'm more on a page from Ezra Levant. I'm, I'm going to call Human Achievement Hour. I'm going to turn on all my lights. I'm going to turn on all my technology. You know, let's just celebrate the technology that we have. Let, let you know, this, I'm this sorry. Is, it, you, my, Kevin, you and I are on the same page, and I'll tell you why. Because I don't believe the planet really – George Carlin had it right. When he said the planet is like a dog, and on that dog there's a couple of fleas arguing about which way the dog should go. I mean, that makes about as much sense. I mean, the planet's fine. We're in trouble, but the planet's fine. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, Nick. That, that's, a, that's a good way to put it. I mean, for crying out loud, why are we so down on ourselves? Because we've achieved a lifestyle that is the envy of the rest of the world. All the, like King Solomon didn't live the way we do. Maybe it, it is because it's the envy of the world in, in the way we live in, in a lot of in a lot of cases. I don't know. It just it seems like those on the the, the radical environmental movements, you know, those those, those people are, that, that that want us to participate in Earth Hour. It, it just seems like at the same time they're trying to convince us that it's humanity that's what's wrong with the planet. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but I have a fundamental disconnect. But I, I think you and I are on the same page. With I this one. I think so too. My answer to those who feel guilty about our lifestyle. Rather than bring ours down, why do we reach out to the people in the third world and help them elevate theirs? Exactly. And you do that with cheap electricity. All right, Kevin, appreciate the call. I like that. Thank you very much, Nick. Bye -bye. Have a good night. Yeah, cheap electricity makes life a whole lot easier because then you can do things like have water pumps, refrigeration. You could even start a base industry. Oh, oh, no, we couldn't have that. We couldn't have more people being prosperous because that would mean they don't need us anymore in all of our fancy-dancy do-nothing-but-make-us-feel-good-and-sleep-good-at-night programs. All right, we'll be right back after this on the Nick and Night Show. 521-8255. We'll be right back.